Hello, welcome to the Bankers Masterclass Series in association with SWIFT on a new era in global payments. I'm Joy McKnight, Managing Editor at The Banker, and I'm joined by Wim Raymakers, Global Head, Banking Market at SWIFT. In Chapter 1 in this four-part series, we're looking at how the industry is working together to reduce friction and cross-border payments and what will it take to actually make them as seamless as domestic payments. Wim, thanks so much for joining us today. So we've seen an incredible amount of change in cross-border payments uh, over the last couple of years. What is really driving that change? Well, a lot of that change has actually been driven by customers and the expectation of a better experience. Besides technology, it's really you and me, us, the client, that have been driven and driving a lot of this innovation in payments and in the digital economy. We all want payments that are fast, transparent, and predictable. And on a domestic basis, that's already possible. We're using our mobile phone and our tablets to make payments 24 by 7. And now we see that corporates and SMEs are expecting the same, to settle their trades for cross-border payments. And we see also a lot of new entrants using new technology coming into this space. So there's a lot of change. There's a, a lot of challenges, but also a lot of new opportunities. Okay. And you mentioned there, you know, the, you know, the increase in the pace of making payments. So you see payments going instant on a domestic level. You know, what will it really take to make that happen on a, in cross-border payments? Well, we certainly see the trend towards instant payments around the world. Just by looking at the number of countries that already have a domestic instant payment system. And SWIFT is very actively involved in many of these countries, for instance with the new payments platform in Australia or with RT1 and TIPS in Europe. On the cross-border payment side, we see the same trend. However, there are some unique challenges that come with that, for instance because of time zones, FX conversions or sanction screening, for instance. Okay. How can the industry work together to really overcome those challenges? Well, to overcome those challenges is really a must-do and a top priority for SWIFT. And with GPI, we're tackling them head-on. The payments that go over GPI today are already very fast. Millions of payments worth over 300 billion go through GPI every day. And nearly half of those are settled end-to-end -end within five minutes, many within seconds. So GPI is already very fast. In addition, banks can use the GPI tracking method. There's a database in the cloud accessed through APIs that banks can use to track their payments in real time. In addition, we're developing an integrated toolkit to further reduce the friction and speed up the process of these payments. For instance, with a pre-validation service and with a fast case resolution service. In addition, we are working with domestic instant payment systems to link the cross-border payments through GPI into the domestic instant payments processing. We did a trial last year, for instance, in Asia, where payments from China, Singapore and Thailand were sent over GPI into Australia for further clearing. And all of those payments were settled within 60 seconds. Now, that's pretty fast. Mm, exactly. Well, thank you so much for your insights, Wim. Thank you. In part two of this masterclass series, we'll look at the benefits that real-time end-to-end tracking can bring to the industry.